What's up, everyone? Gsmith624 here, and today we're here to talk about the girl in the mech, the one and only D.Va. Now, the reason we're talking about her today is because uh, after not the latest patch, but the previous patch, before yesterday's patch went up, uh, that still there's a patch, previous patch, or yesterday's patch doesn't apply to this, so that's why I'm going back to D.Va here. But D.Va probably got one of the biggest buffs a hero has ever seen besides the latest buff that just happened to Symmetra but I'll cover that in a later video and that essentially is D.Va got a hundred more health to her mech and her movement speed while firing has been increased by 25% and on top of that if that wasn't enough when she is out of mech her ultimate charge time is the same as it was before uh, the previous patch, and you may be saying, well, what's the big deal with that? There's no change to that. Well, everyone else's ultimates had been increased by 20% get time. So that means D.Va's ultimate is the only ultimate in the game that still has the same speed that of being able to get it, which, if you're at least a decent D.Va player, or just at least know what you're doing in the game means that if you're out of mech for longer than 10 seconds you can probably get your mech again and that's pretty ridiculous especially with now looking at diva she may be taking the main tank spot especially with the buff to Symmetra and her whole entire kit being changed but we'll get to that in a later video like I said but Essentially, D.Va now has become a much better uh, tank than uh, pretty much all the other tank options. Because she was already better than Zarya and Roadhog in terms of actually being a tank. Because Roadhog was more of just draw enemies to him and get clean picks with his hook. While Zarya was make sure she's fully charged so that way she's a walking powerhouse and can take down anything you see. And then D.Va was that alternate tank spot on tank teams where you didn't want a Reinhardt, but you didn't want a Winston, so you went with a D.Va. Well now, those key points that could be held by a Reinhardt can probably very easily be held by a D.Va now. Because she has the most health in the game at a whopping total of 750. Now, mind you, 150 of it is locked behind a mech, so, you can't kill her uh, all in one go, either. Like, some ultimates, say if you were to hit her with a self-destruct from another D.Va. She's in mech, she'll survive it no matter what, because her mech will take the full brunt of the damage and make her pop out with 150. And then, you'll get your ult back fairly quickly if the enemy team doesn't uh, handle you properly. So, all of those combined just make D.Va a new terrifying force in the meta and possibly makes her the main tank now because while Reinhardt is a decent tank he doesn't have as much health as the other tanks he doesn't match bro he, he used to match D.Va in health and he used to match or no yeah he used to match D.Va in health and that was it Zarya had less than him, and I think Winston might be tied with him. I don't remember on Winston. I apologize about that. But uh, D.Va and Reinhardt used to be tied on health, with D.Va having more armor than health, unlike Reinhardt, who had two... F I think he has 250 health and 250 shield, or uh, armor, while D.Va was 400 armor and 100 health. But now, she has that 100 health on top of that, and with the newest hero being released, Sombra, Reinhardt mains are in for some trouble. While if you're a D.Va, even if your abilities are hacked, sure, you can't uh, block the damage as much, but you can still absorb more damage than uh, the Reinhardt could because the Reinhardt has 100 less health than you. And on top of that, you have a ranged weapon, unlike Reinhardt. If Reinhardt gets hacked, which is fairly easy to hack a Reinhardt, no offense to Reinhardt players, but uh, if a Reinhardt gets hacked, he's essentially a sitting duck 
for the enemy team. And uh, if Diva gets hacked, she's not a sitting duck because she can still fire back with her weapons, and she has that increase to her movement speed while firing her weapons, making her even more deadly than she was before. So, my only question is, to you people at home, do you think this buff was a much needed buff to D.Va, or it's too much and they have essentially gone too far with their buffs of her? I'd love to hear what you guys think at home, so comment down in the comment section below what you guys think, and I will see you all in the next episode. I've been your host, G Smith 624 and I'll see you all then. Farewell, people. Have a nice day.